Look at this thing. The new Primo XXL is here. This is one big bad mama. Let's review this bad boy. Let's go. Don't forget guys, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, you can come to our showroom, shop all the barbecues that you need. We are one of the coolest barbecue shops on the planet, I think. Of course, I'm biased since I own the place, but that's just my opinion. Um, also, if you're not local, uh, check out our YouTube channel, our website, embersliving.com. And also, if you like what you're learning here and you're interested in some of these products, give us a first stab at the business. It helps us out a lot when you do that and uh, it allows us to keep making good content like this. All right, so Primo released the double XL version. What's different about it? Obviously the size, that goes without saying. Um, Primo before only had the XL. And so this is like, we didn't need to do like a side-by-side -side with like the Big Joe and stuff, but this is, to me, gonna give us way more real estate than most anything out on the market. Uh, we'll have to look up the, put up the size specs compared to the big Joe Chris and see, see what it is. But I'm, I'm, if I'm a betting man, I know this is bigger. I wanted to point out before we open this thing, I haven't even looked under the hood yet, is they kind of do have like a different finish on this. Now, maybe this is a running change with all of their products that I'm not sure about. It's almost more like a, um, it's not as shiny as the old Primos, huh? I agree. Yeah, it's almost, not, it's not really matte. We'll call it satin, more of an eggshell finish. Looks really nice. Almost like more of a black, which kind of gives it more of a gray hue. Um, I might need one of these on my patio. I don't know. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Primo, their claim to fame is the oval shape. All right, so um, the oval shape allows us to do a lot more with offset cooking. Obviously, longer shaped things like briskets, things like that are a lot more conducive. We're gonna test some, some animals I got in the freezer to see how well they fit on here. All right, we ready? Should we open the hood? Just kidding, it has a new spring assist hood too. So, man, that is heavy duty though. Whew. That's a lot of grill. So, looks like it comes with our deflector standard. So we get two of these. Gonna get that standard out of the box. And it looks like we also have our cast iron firebox divider, which I think when we're using a grill this big is gonna be helpful. And then the heat deflector racks, which actually hold the heat deflectors themselves. Let me move these out of the way here. Of course, our cooking racks that we actually cook on, which are pretty sweet. And then basically our firebox itself. They did do some redesigns on the update updated units a bit ago. Um, one was the spring assist hood, which we will get to in a minute. And then this is like a newer design here too. This little ceramic piece that's gonna sit over here. And I, I noticed that this has like a little more airspace in it, which I think helps it from getting gunked up on the sides. Like the ash will get in there and like cure it almost like cement. So I think that little airspace allows for that not to happen. So just a couple of small tweaks that really help with design as well. But this thing's big, man. We should like see who can fit inside it. And try to fit someone inside here. But it's pretty straightforward grill other than that. Let's put in the side deflector just so we can see that in action too. So this is an important feature because this grill is so big. This is something you probably would use a lot. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, we could put this in here and then we could start doing all kinds of cool stuff where we could stack these. So we could stack these up higher, but essentially you could put the charcoal here and then offset or cook over here, like more like a smoke, smoking feature, which is pretty sweet. And our air controls are down here. That's pretty straightforward and pretty much the same. But let's just see how advantageous in real life that by having this this much bigger would be. Let's try to put some stuff on here and see what fits. So they're saying 10 chickens. 10 chickens? That's a big party. 12 racks of ribs. Three whole turkeys. Who has three whole turkeys at once? That's crazy. 
18 years of corn, now, now that's what I'm talking about. 16 steaks, one suckling pig. Ooh, let's test that. We got a pig right here, a little suckling pig. We got a, this looks easy. We could do two of these. Yeah. So we could fit two baby pigs in here pretty easy. Although if we spread them out, actually, yeah, we probably spread out his hind legs, but. No, we can't test 10, 10 chickens. What about a Wagyu brisket? We could probably get away with two two big briskets, huh? What do you think? Let's see, how many pounds is this guy? Doesn't say, but this is a big one. That's a big brisket. All right, so total left to right space. We got 27 and a half inches of cooking space in there by, you know, at its widest point, 21, 21 and a half. That's big. I mean, you could fit a lot of stuff. So that's the new Primo XXL. Obviously not a whole lot different. The cart, they've definitely made a little more sturdy. Um, I still think they could work on that a touch. However, you probably saw in my one review, I kind of ripped them apart a little bit. The cart is better than it used to be. So you can order this as an all-in-one, which is basically everything in the box that gets you ready for a cook or for a built-in application where you can buy just the Primo head itself. Of course, what's really cool about Primo, um, if you haven't watched my other videos on my comparison videos, or tell me in the comment section what you wanna see this up against, and I'll review it against it. But the advantage to Primo is it's made in the United States, it's oval shape, and they have a lot of cool, fun accessories. So they have like a rotisserie kit, they have like a pizza kit. Um, they've come out with a lot of new accessories lately that have made it really cool. And I think from a functionality standpoint, there hasn't been a better pizza, or um, I should say better smoker on the market because of the oval functionality. As simple as that sounds, having that shape really changes the whole way you cook with this thing. And that's why I cook with it at home. When people always ask, well, what does Trevor have? Trevor's got a Primo. That's what he's got. And that's what I cook on for my smoker. I got multiple grills, but that's the smoker I use, is my Primo. I have a Primo XL, although it's built in. I, I don't know if I could fit a 2XL, uh, but we have the brand new Kalamazoo uh, Kamado smoker in, so we can put that up against it. We can put a Big Joe up against it. You let me know what you wanna see, and we'll film it. All right, that's the Primo XXL. We gotta get our hands dirty with it, probably need to cook on it. So you'll be seeing more videos to come on this guy, but this thing's pretty, pretty rad. We'll see you guys next time.